how's everybody doing today? This is Bandit Chimera here for Bandit Chimera's Corner, and I have a very special unboxing for you guys today. Um, now, before I get to the unboxing, I actually have a couple of other cool things that I wanted to share with you. Um, some of these things I got after the last unboxing, some of these things I just haven't had a moment to share. Um, but they're all kind of Nintendo themed because today's unboxing is actually Nintendo themed because um, I got from Cross Seas uh, some cool new Amiibos, the ones that are actually rare uh, that just came out in Japan that haven't actually even come out in the United States yet. Uh, now, before you know, you go and jump to conclusions and say, oh, God, I can't believe you would pay all that money for those ones from Japan when they're coming out in the States. Um, I didn't really, technically. Um, had some extra money in my account, in my eBay account from selling some things. And instead of using it towards some other frivolous things, I thought it would be a cool idea to actually pick up uh, the new Amiibos. Um, so really and truthfully, I only paid about retail um, for the Amiibos out of pocket. The rest of it was all from money that I had gotten from awesome uh, auctions. But nevertheless, uh, some things before the Amiibos. Uh, I actually have uh, two things that go with that Zelda 3DS. Now, if you did not know or are just tuning in, um, you can check it out in my unboxings. I actually have picked up the Legend of Zelda 3DS XL. Um, the new one uh, is really cool. And to go with my really cool thing, I've got a couple of things. The first is a new pouch. Um, and this guy, you can kind of see right here, uh, has some monogrammed um, etching in the leather. It's it's faux leather, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, you can see the Hylian bird, the Hylian uh, crest, basically. Uh, you can see the Triforce. And uh, inside of it, uh, you've got spots for the actual DS itself. Uh, you've got a couple of spots for games. And it comes with some cool styluses. Uh, as well as a little sticky cleaning cloth that go with your Hylian, you know, love. Uh, in addition to that, on my DS right now, and you might be saying, oh my god, I can't believe you're not showing the awesomeness of the Majora's Mask. Um, this is quite awesome as well. And I want to try to get in there so you guys can see just how awesome. Uh, this is a green DS case uh, that I picked up at a local store. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, it's glossy, so you can kind of see the gloss on it, but the thing that's really cool is that highly crest, and that thing is sick. Like, part of me, like, wants to jump for joy when I see it and, like, get it tattooed on my arm immediately. Um, or a body part of mine. But it's really cool. Um, I've always wanted a green DS. They haven't made too many green DSs, um, so I took the opportunity to get at least a green case uh, for my fantastic DS to not only protect it, uh, but because it looks freaking cool. Uh, now, before I get to the unboxing of the new Amiibos, I have some Amiibos that I didn't have the last time uh, I did an unboxing because I stumbled upon it and just decided to, you know, purchase it because I said, hey, well, I, I don't have those. Those are cool and they're kind of rare. And what I'm talking about is the Splatoon 3 pack. Um, now, I don't have a Wii U personally. Um, I did at one point in time. Uh, I might eventually, depending on how awesome that new Zelda looks, which is going to be fantastic at some point in time whenever it comes out. Um, but uh, what I do have is the cool Amiibos that go with the Zelda, uh, or with the Splatoon, I should say. So this is Squid Girl. Uh, this is Squid Boy. And he's kind of cool. I wish he had the fangs that they have in the game, though. And then this one is the Ultra Rare. This is the one that people are looking for um, out of the three-pack mostly. They're looking for this guy right here, which is just the regular Squid. Now, as of right now, the only way to get regular Squid Boy or regular Squid um, is actually in the three-pack. Um, boy and girl, you can get single, and there are still places like Toys R Us, at least around where I live, that still have the boy and girl. Uh, but they're starting to dwindle down, too. So, those are my little things. Now for the big guys, and the big guys are Dark Pit, Ganondorf, Palutena, and Zero Suit Samus. Now before I open them, I'll let you guys see them unopened. And so I've got Lady Palutena, who I'm very excited to open and start using in my um, 3DS. I've got Dark Pit, uh, right here, Dark Pit. I have Ganondorf, who will complete, for now at least, the Zelda set. Um, he's the end of the Zelda set. And 
the one I was very, very, very much looking forward to because I love Metroid, um, and I actually love to play this character uh, in Smash, um, I was looking forward to uh, Zero Suit Samus. Um, so the one that I'm probably going to get the most play out of is right here. Um, so you've seen him boxed. Let's unbox him. Um, now some collectors and some Amiibo scalpers are probably going to be rolling over in their graves that I'm doing this. Um, I say that all the time. don't really care because I collect them to use them, and I collect them because they're awesome. And I think the entire purpose of having something like this is to, you know, open it and use it. Uh, so... The first one that I am opening is Zero Suit Samus, because like I said, most looking forward to Zero Suit Samus. Um, I've wanted a Zero Suit Samus, like, figure or statue or something for a while, ever since, like, Zero Suit Samus, like, became a thing. Uh, and she is pretty fantastic. There she is up close. There she is. I know it's a little blurry, so I apologize for that. There she is on the camera. Uh, she's pretty awesome-tastic, like, um, and like I said, I'm very excited to actually start using her. Ganondorf might as well be next, because he's next in my pile. Um, so yeah, like, Ganondorf finishes the Zelda ones, though I have a feeling, uh, since they just announced Triforce Heroes, and they announced that one that I'm even more excited for, Hyrule Warriors, is coming to the 3DS, um, that we'll probably see some more, like, you know, maybe we'll see Petra or, um, the Red King, um, maybe even, like, you know, like, Minda, or there's a rumor going on right now that, uh, the female Link, or Linkle, as uh, she's been called, uh, might be gracing our presence in the DS version. Um, so here is Dark Lord Ganondorf, and Ganondorf is pretty awesome looking, um, I love the detail, honestly, of the Amiibos that I have. I think this set of Amiibos, uh, these four, actually have a lot of detail and, like, might be my favorite. Um, Dark Pit is next, and I'm sure some of you guys are out there looking forward to Dark Pit and to playing Dark Pit. I know that Dark Pit is actually uh, pretty powerful in the game. Pit and Dark Pit are both pretty cool. Um, I like them both. Uh, I think I prefer Pit over Dark Pit, but, um, or Pit 2, as sometimes he's called. Uh, but, there he is. So, we have Dark Pit, and Dark Pit with his Holy Relic, and he's pretty awesome. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, all of these, like I said, are very impressive. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Lady Palutena. And Lady Palutena, actually, I think might be... Even though I'm more excited to use Zero Suit Samus, uh, Lady Palutena might actually be one of the coolest amiibos because it's got, she's got a lot going on. And in addition to everything that she's got going on with her um, and all the different uh, colors and like the clear spots and like, you know, all of that, um, she also is fantastically like designed. Like, I mean, like. Lady Palutena um, looks probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest, out of all of the the new amiibos of the of the four. Um, and I mean, like with the gold leafing and everything, she's just really cool. Um, very intricate, very detailed. Uh, you can kind of see her shield there too. Um, she's really cool. All right, and she's kind of heavy. <laughs> I was a little surprised by that. Um, but there we go. Those are that's the unboxing for today. Um, I will be coming back hopefully the middle of next month to actually starting to do YouTube again. Um, again, if you haven't already heard, I had some issues with um, my computer, accidentally fried it. Um, working on saving up some money so that I can get a new one and I can get right back to YouTubing. Um, I have a couple of games that I wanted to do for my summer games. Um, one of them is going to be at the end of the summer, uh, and it's going to be that new horror game Until Dawn. Um, and I want to do at least one, if not more, plays on that because, one, it looks like hilariously awesome to play, two, it looks like a great horror game, and three, um, multiple endings and different ways that you can do different things in different scenarios. So, like, I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be a great YouTube game. Um, also, uh, gonna do Aliens. I actually bought all of Aliens and the Season Pass. Um, I had actually planned on starting to do it before... Uh, everything with my computer happened, so <laughs> I had to kind of put that on hiatus now, but I will be doing Aliens 
and I kind of want to do a long play. Um, I'm going to gauge the reaction and see how it goes. Um, I'm looking at possibly doing Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, I did Unity. I didn't actually do it on camera, but I played the whole thing, but I still have not played Rogue. Uh, I have my PS3, and I have a copy of Rogue, so I'm, I'm thinking that that's going to happen. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Bandit Tamara's Corner. Uh, I appreciate you guys giving me the love and giving me some views. Uh, if you are new to the corner, thanks for t checking it out. If you are a reoccurring character in my little corner over here, thank you for tuning in as always. And most importantly, love and peace! Bye guys! Bye!